to another video from Sax Tax Chris Aquarium Guy. I hope I didn't scare, scare you with that beginning and I hope you will watch till the end. I would be super thankful. Hugs and kisses. Mwah. Hello fish lovers and welcome to Sax Tanks Chris Aquarium Guy. We're gonna do an update on the Falca Puffer. As simple as that. I'm still not happy with the names, Sergius, Luna, I think I still have a better name in mind, but it's a male's name and I would re rather want a female name, but let's screw that female name and just give me good names in the comment section, please. It's not decided yet, but now to the good part, see how much she can eat. There she is, Miss Grumpy Pants. Call all my fuckers Grumpy Pants. She knows something is up. The belly looks normal. Everything looks fine, but what is that camera? Still not getting used to that. So I added a second, a third rather, but it's really weak air pump. To the beak. Uh, yeah, you can see as yourself. Really slow bubbles. And I took out the big driftwood piece. And she was happy with that. She's moving around. She was getting too big. Remember, this is a 12 gallon aquarium. It's almost like she's ready to move soon. I mean, they say you shouldn't move them to a big tank. Look how feisty she is because she knows what's up. Think about the worst kind of cocktail shrimp you can buy, frozen ones, peeled. And then you bash them because her mouth is so small and her beak is so small, so it's a lot easier for her to eat if you bash them into small pieces. So this is cocktail shrimp. Cheapest you can buy. That's really good in protein. You see, she eats from my hand. She even bite me the other day. It was, it did not feel good. It wasn't as bad as the turtles, but wasn't good either. So she has beaks, but they are small. Okay, this is her favorite by the way, but I wanted to feed her a favorite for you so you can see. She, she gets feisty if, if they are too big. And she needs to work on the beaks, that's why I give them to her frozen so they at least have a millisecond of hardness. She prefers pond snails but as I told you before, I had a problem with pond snails like two times ever. First time the top and we already did a pea puffer tank out of that so they died. And now second time another top with the antlers. But I already did a rescape and a new aquarium for the antlers actually. But I couldn't show you because I was so in, I was so much in a hurry. Oh, that was sorry. <laughs> that was a Malaysian trumpet. Way too hard for you. Let's put in some mixed pieces and see what she will do. This looks like an octopus. It's because I was bashing the bag. Can you see it? Oh, she took the small piece first. Yeah. But I can feed her this amount three times a day. So that's why I'm a little bit... When should I move her from 12 gallons when she eats like this? It's a lot of food. But you have to go and hide. You want to see you eat. Okay, I'll give you a small one again so you can show off. Don't float away. Don't float away on me. Where did it go? 
Now this is so much fun. I missed having a vodka so much. You realize that very quickly when you get a new one. She is more brave for being this size than the other one. You but you see the pedal me now. We have to lower the camera a bit. So we see her from the right level, as we say. Then you can really see the belly. She can get one more because if she doesn't eat it, my ancestors get something. But it needs to be something small because that belly is huge. Not that they stop eating when they're not hungry, in my experience, but I don't think you can overfeed them. But if you think about her against the plants or her against the sponge filters, then you can really see she grows by the day. But 12 gallons to 175 gallons, it would be hard to feed her like I do now. She really sees them, she picks them up. They're gonna be big plecos, really big plecos fighting over the these shrimps with her and I don't know if she's gonna go into hiding mood or not know when I'm there so I'm gonna keep her in here for a while more longer uh, that, that's why I took the driftwood piece out so she could swim out more and as soon as I did that either she was angry at me or she showed me she she loved it the space because she was for the first time she was swimming around like this yay like space in the beginning it was because she was such a small fry so I wanted her place to hide and it's still weird with me that she never attacks the pleco but when I had yellow plecos she hated them so in some way she hated the color yellow but I don't think I didn't know fish could see colors that, I mean, was that important to them. But maybe she thought they were other puffers or other fries. I need to kill them. You're hungry today, aren't you? We're going to put it in a big one so you have something to do. And that is just... Then she can work on it for an hour. So she doesn't get bored because this fish is highly intelligent. But she knows what's up when I'm opening this plastic bag. And don't worry, I feed the pleco pellets and stuff as well, but. And sisters also loves. Should we try to get closer? No, it's pretty good, right? Did you see the belly? Crazy. So now it's just three sponge filters and a kilo of ceramic filter media two Liliopsis plants and one I think in English you call it the nickname octopus plant I don't remember the Swedish name but it's really good because it's floating around growing not super fast but fast enough and not as annoying as duckweed or guppy grass to get rid of if you really want to get rid of it but this I do as a, I need to show you this because after the feeding, it's a hole. See, feeding hole. Put something up there. You never know if it 
don't want to have your paka lying on the floor. That would be horrible news. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by, fish lovers. And she's gonna look at that like that's too big for me, and, and I'm not that hungry, so I'm not gonna work for it. But when I come back in two or three hours, she's she's on it again. So that's good because you want to keep them occupied so they don't get bored. Thank you so much for watching, fish lovers. Uh, please watch some of my other videos that's gonna pop up in the corners boom 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 um, if you're a new subscriber I have 250 280 I don't remember but a lot of videos a lot of information even though they're not present my fish are not present or if you have another puffer I have a video about puffers in general the most common ones that everybody buys right now because puffer is a thing right now and I pretty much go through every single one and how you treat them or I should say how I should treat them if they were my fish okay and as I suspected because I still go away sometimes and the black neon tetras was 20 Two of them jumps out, jumped out, so I found them dry on the outside, they jumped out from the corners, but the other ones disappeared. Hmm, I wonder who ate them. <laughs>